You know, it can be an emotional day when it comes to your child's first day of school. Throw on top of that the potential threat of COVID-19 and you could be in for a real ride. WMAR 2 News Dave Detling introduces us to one school that says they've worked very hard to minimize the risk while staying true to their teaching methods. Well, it was the first day back to school for the youngest students here at the Waldorf School of Baltimore. Because of COVID-19, there is no indoor classroom instruction. So the challenge and question for faculty is, how do you meet a child's developmental needs while keeping them safe? Be safe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I said have fun. For parents dropping off their little ones for the first day of school, there was the usual separation anxiety felt by parents. Hopeful. <laughs> little trepidatious yeah. <laughs> feeling overwhelmed but you know I'm I know he's in a great this great school and everything will be okay Hollis do you have a snack the Waldorf School of Baltimore welcomes students as young as two and a half up to kindergarten age back to school but backpacks weren't put in lockers or cubbies and there were certainly no desks being outside is n nothing that's strange to us Waldorf is outside an awful lot of the time this time we're just outside for a little longer and we brought in some new facilities to help that. The school's property was transformed into outdoor classrooms meant to encourage safe social distancing while providing a learning environment. We have spent a lot of the summer, oh, <laughs> there we go, we have students back. We have spent a lot of the summer um, improving, updating, developing our facilities. So right now you're sitting in the Rainbow Room classroom. While it might look like recess, make no mistake, Waldorf says students are learning and interacting with their peers. That's something that's been sorely missed since the pandemic began. As well as the intellectual education, Every child needs the social emotional opportunities that are offered by a school being on campus. Which is why we really want to have them back as soon as possible. The school's executive director, Pat Whitehead, says older students, grades one through eight, are learning virtually through Zoom and will have the opportunity to come on campus for in-person subject classes, art and nature studies. It's another way the school continues to educate students during the pandemic. Parents we spoke to say they're grateful Waldorf has the outdoor space, that masks are worn, and that precautions are put in place. They believe their children are in good hands. Oh yeah, I mean, I think there are reasonable fears. Mm -hmm. um, you can't control everybody. It's been a challenging time right now uh, for everyone, for the world. But here is really, I feel it's really a sanctuary of childhood. And because classes will remain outdoors here at the Waldorf School of Baltimore, the question is, what will they do during the winter months? Administration says classes will remain outdoors with some indoor options. They are also working on building a pavilion. In Baltimore, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.